Hey everybody, Matt comes to you from Fan3 here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's check out all of this stuff this week. Starting off here in Marvel, looking at Captain Marvel issue number 37. Oh, by the way, this normally would be starting with Amazing Spider-Man. We do have those by request, one copy per person, so let us know when you come in. We also have Dark Ages issue number 6, Ghost Riders back with issue number 2, whole slew of sick covers. The Sakuna cover is absolutely fantastic. And the Blinds variant, hey! We also have Hulk issue number 5 from Donnie Cates, as well as... The Grand Design Hulk. This stuff is crazy. Really, really cool art. Love it. Awesome stuff. We also have the Immortal X-Men. Really cool there with the Brooks style cover. Lots of, lots and lots and lots of covers to choose from. We also have Iron Fist issue number two. Over here we have Silk issue number three. We also have this gigantic John Buscema's uh, Artisan Edition. Really cool stuff. Very, very, very awesome. I think it's, uh, if I recall, it's his actual pages. Really cool. Silver Surfer Rebirth issue number three. We also have Spider-Woman issue number 21. Star Wars Bounty Hunters issue number 21 as well. We have Excellent issue number two. We also have Unlimited X-Men Latitude number one. It's a one shot. We have the Omnibus of X-Men from Jonathan Hickman. Really cool stuff. Also, Epic Collection, Jim Lee stuff. Really cool. Okay, on to DC. Batman One Dark Knight book number two from Jock. We also have Aquaman issue number two. We have the first issue of Batman the White Knight, Batman Beyond White Knight, but we were shorted on the regular covers. We'll have those coming soon, but here it is. We also have Phase Clan, a Batman story there. We have Challenge of the Super Sons paperback, DC Vampires, issue number 6 of 12. Sensational Wonder Woman special, really cool. We have Shadow War Alpha. This is a kickoff to a new crossover event between Robins, um, that's true, you said, and Batman. We also have Swamp Thing. He's back. Season 2. Let's check it out. It's going to be awesome. That book was really cool. Awesome Frank Avia cover. And War for Earth 3. Numero Dos of Dos. On to the Image Comics. Cool stuff over here. We're looking at Astro City making its big return. Awesome stuff. A lot of cool, really cool covers to choose from there. As well as Astro City, the Metro book. This is awesome. Reprinting some of the older stuff. And we also have a hand signed tipping plate that comes with each volume what well, supplies last hellcop has volume one paperback over there we also have magic order number two uh magic order two number six i should say we also have new burn number five radiant black issue number 13 righteous thirst for vengeance uh this is issue number six we have rogue sun number two Spawn is back with his crazy antics in issue 328. We have Step by Bloody Step number two. And this is really rad. Ashley Wood art. Oh my goodness. Zombies versus Robots Classics. Reprinting the old series. Really cool. Super talented arts. Support it. On the indie comics, we have Animal Castle issue number four. We have All Almost American as well as Essentia. A paperback for Betty Page. We have Beyond the Farthest Star Chronicles. Broken Souls Ballad, Hell is for Kids, number one. We also have Carriers. Um, this one here is Cities and Magic from Scout Comics and Dr. Wilder, Wildin' Out. Over here, we have Dose, as well as Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Death. We have a giant hardcover for Elric, The Dreaming City. We have Good Luck Paperback. Grim Fairy Tales, number 58, and the like, Quarterly, yes, Jack and Jill. Over here we have a manga adaptation Shakespearean mashup. It's not manga, I lied to you. Sorry about that. Hamlet. We also have Happy Hill, number two, and Harbinger, number six, from Valiant Comics. On Yonder, we have the Heathens, number five. Hellboy and the Silver Lantern Club, number five. This one here is in the Flood paperback. We also have the Killer Affairs of the State, number two. Killer Queens, putting the sass in Assassin paperback. Check it out. We also have The Last Session, number four. Merlin and Hector, issue number three. We have the Monster Men, number one, from Edgar Rice Burroughs, Isle of Terror. My Date with Monsters, number five, Kabuki Monster. We have number one comic shop owner isn't a job, it's a calling. Full title. Pantha from Dynamite Comics, a thousand covers to choose from. We have Pearl from Michael Bendis. And we also have Pellucidar, Cross the Savage something or other. We have... Uh, Quintara Stone from Keen Spot Comics, as well as Rise of Dracula, number four, Source Point. We have Sacred Six, number one paperback. Heavy Metal Presents the Savage Circus. Over here we have Season of the Bruja, as well as Something is Killing the Children, number 21. Must be a big event, because we got covers to choose from. And there are plenty. 
John Carpenter's Tales from Science Fiction Civilians Issues 2 of 3. We have Techno Freak and TMNT 127. Big issue. New character. Don't worry about that. The interior is actually really fun and super cool to read. Loved it. It was cool. The annual for number two, um, 2022 annual right there from Junie Ba. We also have Transformers Wars End number two and Usagi Yojimbo Goat and Kid number three. Vampirella the Unholy uh, number four and Manga City. We have the Attack on Titan Omnibus, volumes seven, eight, and nine are contained in there. We have the Country Without Humans, number two. We have the Exo Drive Reincarnation Games. What is this one? The Hero Life as a Self-Proclaimed Mediocre Demon, volume number three. We have Mars Red, volume number two. Reincarnated as a Sword, another wish. Number two, we have Rosenblood, volume number two. And to tie it all together, we have Sheeply Horned Witch Romy. And that is manga time. On to the media comics, one kid's item and then some toys. We have Apex Legends Overtime, number four of four, finishing that up. We also have Vamp Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the 25th anniversary. Kind of a greatest hits from all the Boom and uh, IDW stuff they did over the years. Really cool. Whole slew of stuff to choose from, including cast photo covers. We also have Saturday Morning Adventures G.I. Joe Real American Hero. Cool stuff. The Orville 2.5 uh, paperback. Star Wars Bounty Hunters again with the uh, Sprouse cover. And Zorro New World number three. The Lonely Kids item, but it's pretty cool actually. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the official movie prequel. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Can't wait for that movie. The first one was super cool. The movie poster is the second video game cover. I'm jazzed! Over here for toys, we have the Wasp in the PVC Gallery Diorama statue. Many band prestos. We have Deku from My Hero. A little Gohan action. I'm sorry, is that Goku? Son Goku. We also have from The World Ends With You, such a great video game. Two multiverse from Gotham Knights, Red Hood and Nightwing. Can't wait for that video game. Star Trek Army Builder set. Pretty cool. Some fig pins, or not, not fig pins, pop pins. Corrupted Venom, as well as Yoda. We have some Pops, Entertainment Earth exclusive, Marilyn Monroe, really cool in her classic vent uh, pose. We also have South Park from the Stick of Truth, I believe, Grand Wizard Cartman and Paladin Butters, High Elf King Kyle, Ranger Stan Marshwalker, and South Park Elementary School with PC Principal. For Star Wars, we have Fennec Shand. We also have Post Malone. Glowing Mr. Burns from the awesome X-Files episode, and Muzan Kibutsuji from, or Kibutsuji from Demon Slayer. A couple banks for Deadpool and Loki, and some pretty cool variants to show off. Spider-Man, the 1 in 50 Sandoval variant, I'm sorry, the 1 in 25 Sandoval variant, as well as Dark Ages, the 1 in 50 Stegman variant, and Dark Ages, the Haas variant, 1 in 25. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you have questions, reach out to us at 269-349-8866. Thank you, and have a good night.